Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Prima. Uh, the name of the segment is called... Basically, I just wanted to share recipes with you guys, and if you want to, I'm gonna put the timestamp in the description box, and you can just fast forward this entire introduction if you want, and just get to the recipe. So basically, I decided to make this segment because, um, as you know, um, my guru, His Holiness Bhakti Charaswami Maharaj, passed away from COVID on July 4th of 2020, and I've been having a really hard time coping with that. And, uh, I don't know, I was just watching a show about a man who was having a hard time coping with the loss of his wife, and in the show they were telling him, like, talk about her and, and you know, confront those memories that you have with your wife, and I kind of thought, maybe I could try that, because I feel like I'm, like, stuck, and, I'm, and it's been over a year and I'm still kind of stuck, you know, I can't get out of this loop of remembering him and missing him and wishing he was around and so I decided while I have many memories of Guru Maharaj my most I mean fond memories was being able to cook for him and I wasn't like his cook or anything I just make a couple little dishes here and there to accompany his main meal that his actual cooks would make for him so I thought well why don't I share those memories with you by sharing those recipes. So here's where I'm at. Uh, the first recipe I'm sharing with you is for banana muffins. Um, that was the first thing I made for Guru Maharaj and he liked it. He, um, I remember one of his servants came out after eating it and I said, well, how did Guru Maharaj like it? And he said, oh yeah, he, he pointed to how fluffy it was inside and said, see, it should be, your muffins should be like this, you know, nice and fluffy, squishy. <laughs> so this is a great recipe, tough to mess up. Um, and I hope you enjoy it, so check it out here. Okay, we're starting this recipe off with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then we're doing one teaspoon of baking soda. Um, you're also supposed to do a teaspoon of baking powder. I am out of baking powder, but we did our best with what we had. Then a half teaspoon of salt. Mix that up in one bowl and in a separate bowl, you're gonna do three fourths a cup of white sugar. Here's where I realized I forgot to defrost my banana. So that sucks. Um, here's my egg replacer to replace one egg. If you don't have egg replacer, totally fine. You could just toss another banana in there, same thing. One third cup of butter, completely melted. And as you can see, this is my first recipe video because I'm not good at this. Melted those bananas in my microwave. So that's three bananas and an extra one if you're replacing an egg. And a little bit of cinnamon, you decide how much you wanna put in. Mash that up well. Now you're gonna put your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients and you're gonna turn that um, until it's just moistened. It's gonna seem real tough for a minute, but keep mixing and uh, then set your oven to 375 degrees and line your cupcake tin. You really only need about a, a heaping spoon of this uh, in your cupcake tins. Uh, here's where it gets fun. So I like to sprinkle on top a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. I just mix them both together and just sprinkle them on top and it kind of makes the tops a little crunchy so that's like my secret, <laughs> I guess. Stick them in the oven and uh, bake it for about 20 minutes. You'll see that top pops right up. Look how good those look. Let it cool down a little bit and you'll see nice and squishy cooked on the inside. It's perfect. Don't forget to offer it to Krishna before you eat it. 
So that was the recipe. I hope you liked that video. If, if you like it and you want to see more, give me a like. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can leave me a comment. Love seeing those comments. You can check out all my handles. They're in the description below. And thank you for watching as always. Um, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye.